surely he can do better than two for 21 after the display you, we you know, saw I yesterday in Buffalo. You know, I asked you a simple Buffalo. question earlier. Is he better than CD? It's a simple yes he or no. He has been better than CD, but I think CD has a chance to rise and shine because CD's had two big games up there in Minneapolis. He, he likes it he there. He finally had a 100-yard game. You like that, CD? Yes, I do. I, hold on, no. Yeah. Hold on. First 100-yard game of the year for CD. Yes! Yeah. How, many, how many does uh, 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 J.J. have? Huh. Plenty. So, so far against Dallas, Justin Jefferson has nine targets for five catches and 107 yards. It's, it's not exactly Hall of Fame numbers uh, but, that he's but put up. But two games, nine catches. Yeah. Okay, hold on. What was his targets yesterday, targets to Jefferson? Jefferson had 16 targets yesterday, 10 catches, a buck 93 of the tub. Mm. Can I interest you in that? Okay, that's one game. I got two games against Dallas when he's had about half of that production. Uh, two games. The skip, nine targets? Huh. I mean, you see, you you one of these guys, look, I can't make magic all the time. I can't feed 5,000 with two fish and a loaf of bread every day. That's, mm. a, that's a rare occasion there, I can do was, it. There was only one human who ever did that before. Well, you trying mm. to make Justin Jefferson yeah. do things that yeah. is that's inhuman. Okay. So two years ago, would you believe that I, I've got the, the old cliche equivalent of two redheaded stepchildren? I got Andy Dalton going up there and beating Kirk Cousins. And then I got Cooper Rush, another redheaded quote unquote stepchild, another backup quarterback, going up there and beating Andy Dalton. I mean, beating Beat Kirk, uh, Cousins. Kirk Cousins at Minneapolis the last two years. Would you believe Andy Dalton went up there and won 31 to 28? And then Cooper Rush threw a late touchdown pass to Amari Cooper, no longer a cowboy, to win 20 to 16 last year, mid year at Minneapolis. Are you believing that? No. So shouldn't Dak Prescott be able to go up there and win as the starting Skip. quarterback? Every year the season starts different. You can't say because such and such did this, therefore such and such should do that. It doesn't work like that in sports. Mm, mm. You know that. Well, I know that the odds makers, as Jen just told you, yeah. they're, they're saying, w w no, time out. We, we don't believe in Kirk Cousins because we still think Dallas should be favored by a point and a half at Minnesota. I, I, they did, at Minnesota? They didn't believe in Aaron Rodgers either. Wow. How'd that work out for them? Uh. They didn't believe in the Astros. Did old, Masters, just, old Masters Jack. Did you just put Kirk Cousins and Aaron Rodgers in the same sentence? Were they underdogs? I think you just Were they did. underdog? By five. Okay, they then were. what happened? Okay, well, Aaron Rodgers happened okay, just then. like I thought. And watch and first I told you, I would have taken those watch points five chains. and run with them. I watch five chains yeah. do what he do. Okay, well, is he going to do it? He the, the, the odds makers are saying, no, no, no. Dalvin Cook. Really? Dalvin Cook, Dalvin Cook might be able to do it. He just might be able to do it. Because you know y'all, ooh. That... Dalvin Cook broke loose for 81 yards with 134 left in the third quarter, and that was the game saver, actually. That saved them because they're down 27 to 10 at that point. Yeah. Without that run, just break away up the sideline, gone, gone, gone. Without that, we're having a different okay. conversation. So, so, and so that made it 27-17. Mm -hmm. So Kirk Cousins goes into the fourth quarter down 10. Mm -hmm. And then what did he do? Where's 18? What did he do? Where is 18? Hold on. Oh, he's somewhere over there. I'll throw it over there. Hold on. Hold on. Huh? You didn't have no problem when Troy was throwing to Michael Irvin. No. People didn't have a problem when Joe was throwing to uh, Jerry. Mm -mm. So now all of a sudden it's a problem that Kirk Cousins have a number one receiver oh, no, and he's but, going but to it. Troy threw darts to Michael Irvin. They look like they're actually intended for Michael Irvin. Don't look intended for him. No, he, he, he died there. I he just says, I don't know where he is, but I'm throwing it up there you somewhere. Hater. No, he ain't throwing it up there. He ain't just throwing it up there. Don't do that, Skip. He, he wears eight like Troy used to wear eight. That's like uh, disgraceful. Eight to 18. I don't know how they come up with this eight number, but that's a tub. I like four to 88 over eight to 18. I'll take whatever. Yep. Whatever. I will take it whatever. this Sunday at Minneapolis. I will take it. Pat P locked that thing down. Pat well, P he, got him two picks. He is really but good. But the, the thing about the Vikings, Skip, they've been healthy. Harrison Smith is 33, didn't miss any time. Pat P is 32. Yep. The linebackers are 30, and they're playing. They got all that going, but in the end, it comes down to the quarterback. And I don't trust Kirk Cousins. You I never tr trust him because I don't I, I, I don't need to trust but him. But you don't trust Dak either. You know, I trust Kirk <laughs> Cousins to throw it to us. You trust Dak? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, if I go back and listen to you the first segment and mm -hmm. then the other, you don't trust Dak either. What did I propose at the end of the first segment? Maybe we could do, we'll let Dak play for three quarters, we'll let Cooper close. I told you what Cooper Rush is. Mm. He's a guy. Well, all he did was save the season. He's that guy. guy is the guy. It, save yeah. what season? Yeah. I, I trust him more to make big throws than Dak Prescott. Dak, right he can't now. make no big throws. Nope. Cooper Rush is a guy, you know that. That's yep. why he's back. That's why he's on the bench. I, I even think that Dak Prescott can outplay Kirk Cousins because he has too many times. Yeah, we went to Washington. Yep. Kirk Cousins, most overpaid quarterback in the history of football. No man's made he's stolen money from them. And right now they think he's been a great investment. Right? Well, we'll we'll see at the end of Dak contract how he looking. Mm. Okay. Why are you over there bumping your gums? Because what did that get you last year? Nothing. Okay, then.
We yep. will see, gentlemen, how the Vikings respond after that emotional big win against the Bills. It's hard to fine. follow up a performance like that the no, next week. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, Tom Brady 